what would you recommend to the people that still don't know what they want to be when they grow up? Follow that gut instinct. Do the thing that you think you shouldn't do because that's the one that will bring you happiness. Don't do the safe thing. The safe thing will not bring you happiness, so it will give you security and it will give you um, something to wake up and go to every day because the world thinks you should do that. But at some point, and you can do that, but at some point, do the other thing. So go get a job. That's fine. If that gives you freedom to explore, go ahead. But at some point, do the risky thing. Because I think if you don't do that, you'll never find out what you're really made of. My dad owned clothes stores. And so I wanted to be a buyer for his store. I wanted to be the person who went to New York and went to the showrooms, got to pick out what was in the store. And I did. I did do that. Yeah, and? Oh no, I loved it. It was like, that was I wanted to be in fashion and work for my dad and own my own stores eventually. And um, he took me on buying trips. I was a really good sales girl when I was like 12. I was the best sales girl in the store. Like, because I just had a sense of how to dress people and whatever. And then I would go on these buying trips with him, but, uh, and I was always going to be in fashion, except that um, in the, well, it kind of dates me, but in the 70s, his business went under and it went bankrupt, and so I couldn't be in the fashion business anymore. Well, my dream job is exactly what I'm doing. I can't remember the exact number of years, maybe 15 years, something like that. I was the luckiest person in the world because I got paid to tell stories. I could walk around, interview people, talk to people, talk to strangers, get into their lives. I was paid to tell stories, paid to walk up to people and interview them on the street, randomly. Didn't have to even have appointments. If I had a camera, I had a cameraman at that time, you know, ask questions. Luckiest person ever. Every day. Every day. A new story. Who's luckier? Nobody. Right? At the end of the day, I was happy. The next day, it was a whole new show. Could never take back what you did, ever. You just did it, and then the next day you moved on, and you know, got to tell more stories. Nothing, nothing better. My first book, that's the one I made by myself. And I took a camera, a small camera, a wireless microphone, and went and filmed it all by myself. There it is, see there's my name right there. This job teaching kind of combines everything that I love, you know, it's like um, making films and teaching. So it gives me time to keep making my documentaries like over the summer or even during the school year I'm working on things. But I also love teaching too. So I hope I'm a good teacher. I don't like okay, which close up, which thing do you love? Uh, when I was on the stage. When you were on the stage. <laughs> but that's not really a moment about the girl. Mixing teaching, making films, and by the way, I still do journalism too. So I do a little bit of everything. So I'm the luckiest person in the world. What's a day without this? It would be weird. <laughs> it would be really weird. I tried it one day. It was really weird. <laughs>